try to create problems where there are none. After they failed in that one, they wrote another one page. The Prime Cabinet Secretary, Salia Mudavadi, and the Deputy President are having a tussle. Again, pure nonsense. Something that is baseless. Just trying to poke holes in our administration. Because they have found that we have found a formula to turn around the economy of this country. I want to assure you, the nation newspapers, I don't want, whereas I agree with Moses Kuria that you have become rogue and you are part of the Azimio Brigade of trying to bring down the government, I don't agree with what he has suggested that we stop advertising with you. We shouldn't because we are democracy and we should be able to allow you to continue doing your job. Ours is to call you out. When you go overboard, we must tell you on the face. That is a strategy. But we also advise you, instead of hiding, why don't you convert yourself into a political party and then join the Azimio coalition? <laughs> and then you can face us in politics, which is not your line. I want to conclude by saying, no amount of negative publicity, no amount of demonstrations, no amount of wearing sufrias on the head will distract President William Ruto from service delivery. The president has a mandate from the people of Kenya to turn around their lives. The president has a social contract of five years to improve the economy of this country, restore the dignity of the Kenyan people, put money into people's pockets, and uplift their standards of living. That is a commitment that he took the Bible at Kasarani on 13th of September and so before God and before man to do so. You can continue shouting from the rooftop. You can continue writing screaming headlines. You can continue creating false narratives. And I must tell you, because it's important that I do, so that you don't confuse the people of Kenya.